You want to get shaders like this with Optifine. Well, in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to get Optifine shaders. And first things first, we're going to need to close out of Minecraft. And once we've closed out of Minecraft, we can go to Google and search for Optifine download. And we will be able to find the Optifine downloads page here. Then you want to find the version of Optifine you want. Now, I'm going to go with the most recent version. But if you click Show More Versions, you'll be able to see all of these. Once you've found the version you want, click the Mirror link next to it. That will take you to where you can just click this blue Download button and Optifine find will begin downloading. You may need to keep or save it, but it's 100% safe to do that. Then we need to get some shader packs because, well, in order to actually use shaders in Minecraft, you need shader packs. Minecraft shaders is what we can Google for that. And there's two main places to get them, CurseForge and Moderinth. Both of these are trusted places to download shader packs from. Honestly, both of them kind of have the same shaders packs on them for the most part. Let's go ahead and grab Makeup Ultra Fast Shaders here. And we can go to Files and download it. We want the most recent version of it, of course. And once we've got that downloaded, we can then get our shaders all installed because that's what we need. We need a shader pack and we need Optifine itself. And while the shaders pack is downloading, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz says sgh to go here this is where you can get a minecraft server at simple game hosting for you and your friends in just a few minutes you can have instant mod pack install advanced DDoS protection all these amazing features and expert live chat support that is there to help you out any time of the day with real people helping you fix any issue you may have on your server. Truly simple game hosting is the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. So stop struggling to host a Minecraft server and start your Minecraft server the simple way. The first link in the description down below the breakdown dot XYZ says SGH. Now with everything downloaded, we can go ahead and minimize our browser and we want to find the files we downloaded. Most likely those are in your downloads folder. Then we want to start off by installing Optifine. So go ahead and double click on Optifine and it should open this. If it doesn't, it's because you need Java. And specifically you need the Java development kit. So Google Java se development kit and this download here is where you'll want to go click on windows and download this installer after that we can go ahead and double click on optifine and it will open if you're still having issues you might need to right click click on open with and select java then go ahead click this install button and optifine will install as long as you've played the version of minecraft you're installing optifine for there we go it is now successful we can click ok and we are going to need this shader pack later so i'm just going to move that to our desktop and then we can go ahead and open up the minecraft launcher then in the Minecraft launcher, what we'll want to do is select and play Minecraft using Optifine. This can be done by clicking this little arrow here and selecting Optifine and then clicking play and play again. Once you do that, Minecraft will open up and we can install the shader pack directly in game. We don't need to close Minecraft or anything like that after we install Optifine. All we've got to do is just drag and drop from this point. All you've got to do to install your shader pack from here is go to options, video settings, shaders, and then click on shader folder in the bottom left, this shaders folder button, and then drag and drop the shader pack or packs you want to install. You can install more than one directly into this folder. When we go back in game, there it is. Click on it and it will go ahead and activate shaders. You can see in the bottom right, there is shader options. This allows you to customize your shader pack, but if we go in game, the shader pack will be active. Instantly, you can see all the shading, all of the lighting, the volumetric clouds, all of that stuff is, well, working perfectly and, um, yeah, is working with Minecraft shaders. If you have any questions about Minecraft shaders, let us know in the comments. And by the way, every shader pack is different. This is what Makeup Ultra Fast Shaders looks like. The shader pack you install might be different if it's a different shader pack, and you can install as many as you'd like and try them all out to find the perfect one for you. If you again, if you've got any questions, let us in the comments, but we will see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.